All right, guys, Llama Pen here, and today I'm going to break down what, in my opinion, are the three most useful deeks in NHL 21. This idea came to me when I was asked in the comments of one of my videos, what are the three best deeks in the game? And I honestly had to think about it for a minute, but I think based on ease of use, so like how easy these deeks are to do, the fail rate that these deeks have, and the deceptiveness, as well as some other factors, I've been able to narrow it down to these three. Someone in the comments also joked that L2 slash left trigger is all three of the best deeks in the game, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to include that here. So to start it off here, I've got to go with the through the legs deke. This move is pretty easy to pull off, simply hold the puck on your forehand side, roll your right stick down, hold L1 and then point forward with the right stick. This is going to cause the puck to go through your legs and diagonally over to your backhand side. The reason I like this move so much is because it's very deceptive and the puck is relatively protected when going through your legs, at least when compared to a standard windmill or L1 quick deke where the puck is out in front of you. Because you set this move up by pulling the puck all the way back to your forehand side, it allows you to protect the puck a little more and you can easily disguise this move as a pass attempt or make it look like you're trying to cut to the middle to go for a snipe. Most defenders are going to want to take away the middle and your forehand side, which can cause defenders to sell out too hard and allow you to beat them with this move to the backhand. When you consider that the fail rate seems to be at least comparable to other simple dekes like the windmill and the L1 quick dekes, and it can be easily and effectively comboed with other dekes, it's no surprise why I consider this move the third most useful deke in the game. You are going to have a little trouble pulling this one off with players that have really low deke ratings, but I think you can say the exact same for uh, the windmill deke and the L1 quick deke. So anyway, on to number two here, and it's the spinorama. This is one of my favorite dekes. When it comes to ease of use, there's really no easier deke in the game. You simply just tap L2 or left trigger to initiate this slick move and spin around defenders. Now you can also control which way you spin, which is a little more complicated, uh, by holding your right stick to the right, then holding down L2 and then rolling the right stick clockwise to spin clockwise, or by holding the right stick to the left, holding L2 and then rolling the right stick counterclockwise to spin counterclockwise. Still pretty easy to do. The thing I love about this deke though is that you can pass the puck at any point while spinning, which makes it a pretty unique move. Um, it also makes it a great tool for setting up your teammates. If you have a half step on a guy and a teammate is open in the lane behind you, simply pass halfway through your spin to make your opponents look silly and hit your open man. It's also a great tool when entering the zone on the boards for spinning off defenders hoping to meet you at the boards. Occasionally you'll lose the puck with this move if your player doesn't have a great deke rating, but more often than not this move goes off without a hitch. Alright, so on to number one, and it, for me it's the toe drag. It's not a flashy deke at all, um, but in my opinion it's the most practical deke in the game. There's also so much you can do with it. Um, your player almost never loses the puck on this move, even with a really low deke rating. It's one of the easiest moves in the game to learn. Just hold the puck to your forehand or backhand and then roll it down to six o'clock. This move combos with pretty much any deke in the game, um, probably better than any other deke in the game, and it just works. So you can use the threat of your shot on the forehand to get defenders to bite and walk past them pull off the move immediately after receiving a pass, hold it on the backhand and cut quickly over to that dangerous forehand side. There's just endless possibilities. Another cool thing about this deke, which makes it unique to pretty much every deke except for the Datsuk toe drag, or you can kind of do it with the spin move as well, is that you can shoot in the middle of the deke. So this allows you to combo the dangle with sniping and create tricky shooting angles which can be helpful when shooting through screens and scoring, even scoring on breakaways. Throw on top of all of this the fact that there are so many different uh, variations of the toe drag that make it the most versatile move in the game. If you took away every other deke in the game besides the toe drag, that would still leave you with a lot to work with. So you've got the forehand and backhand toe drag variations, you've got the smaller variations of the toe drags on either side. You can now do it from a standstill. Like I said, you can uh, shoot in the middle of it. There's just so much you can do with this deke. One thing I'll say is I wish you could pass in the middle of a normal toe drag, because you can now do that with the Datsuk toe drag, but 
it's something I feel like you should be able to do, and for some reason that hasn't been in the game, so I'd like to see that in the future. Still though, this to me is the most useful deke in the game, um, and that is, in my opinion, the three most useful dekes in NHL 21. Let me know what you guys think. Any deke has the potential to be bad if overused or not used properly, so just keep that in mind. I may end up doing a video on the three most useless deeks in the game if you guys want, um, just for fun to go along with this video. So anyway, hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.